gastroenterology or digestive system and today I'm going to talk about common health issues and complications and particularly today we're going to talk about diarrhea and constipation. This is one of the most common thing you're going to talk about well interpreter for any kind of a medical appointment. Even if you do emergency room, those questions you guys gonna like you gotta interpret them like with closed eyes, even in your dreams. Like you gotta know that. Okay, so we're gonna start first with diarrhea. I'm gonna talk about causes, medication problems and symptoms and then we're going to talk about constipation. Okay. So there is one very interesting thing that I didn't know, but do you guys knew that diarrhea was the second uh, largest reason of a child dead in, in Africa? Yeah, I didn't know that. So this is kind of a serious problem, okay? The, uh, the, the reason of uh, diarrhea is due to bacteria, viruses, uh, or... Um, there are different bacteria, okay? The most common, and in, the, in, in America everybody talks about it, is salmonella. We know it's happening in the meat. That's why when they unfroze the meat, they put it under running waters for a few hours to avoid that this bacteria develop. The other one is called uh, Campolo Bacter Shigella Esterica coli. Whatever, I probably didn't pronounce them well, but that's the most common reason. Uh, another type of diarrhea could happen by fungal infection or some kind of a fungus existence in your digestive tract. Uh, this kind of diarrhea is called irritable bowel syndrome uh, and include abdominal pain, uh, too much uh, or irregular bowel movements, habits, and or could include constipation. Another uh, digestive similar problem is, is called inflammated bowel uh, disease, EBD. It's called uh, colitis or Cohen's disease, or, uh, and it can include blood in the stones. Okay, so these two uh, bowel syndromes and inflammated bowel disease, they could be also due to fungus or some other causes which I am going to read. I will give you six causes for diarrhea. And normally, if you interpret in gastroenterology, you are going to know uh, or have to interpret them, okay? Okay, first of all, it's called microscopic colitis. This is for older people. This is kind of inflammation that happens in the gastroenterological tract or in the stomach during the night. Uh, okay, the another one is called uh, malabsor malabsorptive uh, maldigestive diarrhea. This is when the body doesn't absorb uh, certain microorganisms or certain things from the food. Uh, it could be not absorbing of the nutrients um, and an appropriate digestive function. Chronic infections due to antibiotic uses or viruses as like influenza and so on. Uh, drug, it could be drug induced like laxative or antibiotics can create uh, diarrhea or constipation and also some kind of a treatment as a chemotherapy or steroid therapy. They also can give this side effect. Endocrine causes this mean that diarrhea could come for hormones or uh, some additional disease like different kind of tumors. It could be colon, stomach tumors. This kind of disease can create diarrhea. And another, it's called cancer-related or gut cancer-related reasons for that. Um, so the, the most common thing that happens when we have diarrhea is getting dehydrated because we throw a lot of liquids out of the body. So the first thing that they do rehydration, they give oral medicine and particularly it's called oral uh, rehydration so solution. Okay, we're back. We were talking about... Uh, 
rehydration oral solution, uh, which is a solution that is made uh, with water and salt, and normally is used IV to put, to put it in the system. And this solution helps the body rehydrate and most of the times cure 90% uh, of, uh, of any diuretic infections or fungus or whatsoever. Or sometimes they give a zinc supplement. Mm, okay, they give a different type of medicine for that. Some, very often this problem goes by itself, not longer than a week. Uh, one of those uh, solutions is called pitobismal, of course, antibiotics, uh, diet, diet is uh, a lot of fluids, no sugar, no unhealthy, no sugary, no cane foods, um, and also something else that helps, a probiotic that helps the gastrointestinal flora, it's called a probiotic, it's something that you can buy over the counter. Uh, but attention, the probiotic can uh, boost your system and if you take it too often, if you suffer constipation, probiotic is good. But if you take it too much, it can, uh, can create uh, over uh, going to the bathroom, right? So uh, the symptoms could be uh, stomach pain, abdominal cramps, bloody stomach, weight loss, fever, uh, itching on the body, um, blood in the stools, vomiting, uh, dehydration, uh, swelling, swelling on the body. Also, if uh, if those symptoms are persistent, uh, they can create some kind of uh, okay. Let me tell you some kind of uh, complication. Uh, we're still talking about diarrhea, uh, and so let me tell you what kind of uh, test and, uh, and, and cures or whatever the people do. So normally, normally as an interpreter, you're going to inter uh, we're going to interpret uh, talking about uh, medical history, fam fa family history, if you take any kind of medicine or if, you have, if, you, if the patient have any other medical conditions when the started uh, if it's uh, how often you go to the toilet you have blood in the stool vomiting uh, if it's water if it's have a mucus or pus and another thing is uh, the reason that these questions are so important because if this problem persists it can bring to low blood pressure immune system pressure uh, and, and that could create for very serious complications that require hospitalization, okay? So the kind of a test that they do for diarrhea, it's going to be full body uh, count or this is the blood test. Um, also, they, take for, uh, they check for anemia, metabolism or uh, bleeding, uh, ulcer problem, liver function. Uh, the metabolism, uh, the metabol uh, test could be seen. One of those tests could be, or result could be seen in the blood pressure. Mm. Why they do metabolic tests? Because some of these uh, problems could be due to thyroid function and thyroid gland. Um, so uh, they do this kind of test. Also, they do a stool test. Okay. Let's talk about uh, constipation. I know, guys, I did lose a little bit of my focus because I had a very long call, so I'm a little bit tired, but I'm trying to make that uh, video for you. So the, the, the number two thing that we're going to talk in this video, that's constipation. Or this is unfrequent or painful or difficulty to uh, release stool from the body. Uh, the symptom is, okay, what is constipation? The doctor uh, considers constipation if you pass stool less than three times a week uh, or you have a lymphy or hard stools, you need to push uh, in order to have a ball movement um, or you feel some kind of a weird feeling on the rectum, can completely empty. Uh, or you have to push or it's hard or it's very difficult so um, 
Okay. Uh, why constipation is a problem? There could be a lot of uh, serious health problems due to constipation, and some of those are related to there could be ruptures of the vessels uh, close to the anal, anal fissures, bleeding, it could be colon intestine cancer, or cancer close to the colon, abdominal cancer, uh, rectal cancer. A rectum bulge uh, that uh, it's go it moves other organ especially in the females uh, it moves toward the female organs or the vagina uh, the constipation can create very serious problem with nerves and nerve damages uh, especially the nerves uh, system that work on the rectum and large and small intestine that is related to removing of the stools of the body mm. So one is the damage of the nerve, then it could be damage of the muscles that help removing of the stools. And then the third uh, problem, if we have constipation, could mean that we have hormonal problems like diabetes or problems with the thyroid gland. So uh, all this, anytime you go to the doctor, this is a question that the doctor was going to ask you. Also, this constipation can create swollen veins in the anus or ruptures veins and and another difficulty that uh is like a difficulty to go to the bathroom that can uh create um difficulty to create stool not pass the stool uh so the most common thing is to be active to have a healthy diet less of a stress uh, the procedures, there are different procedures that are most common for this is called colonoscopy. Uh, this is uh, exam to the rectal. There is two types of uh, colon. Okay, the colonoscopy is, uh, we know what, this is the most common procedure when with a flexible tube that have a small camera on his end with a light. Uh, we enter inside, the doctor enter inside the colon and uh, make uh, and check the entire colon system. Normally the colonoscopy is 15, 20 minutes. The person is under full anesthesia. And another one, which is, pa is, pa is similar to colonoscopy, but is called flexible sigmodoscopy. Uh, it's, it's again, plastic tube on the, on the bulb of which have um, flexible tube that is put with through the rectum to view the about 50 centimeters of the large intestine this kind of a procedure uh, see only small part of the intestine as I said only the first part of 50 centimeter bed uh, both of this procedure colonoscopy and uh, sigmoidoscopy uh, can include biopsy biopsy is taking small part of the issue for uh, testings okay uh, and also we do uh, no, very often when the colonoscopy is done the doctors also do a procedure it's called polyp removal normally while the patient is under anesthesia when they check they see if there is a polyps and if there is a polyp they remove them uh, this is uh, very common and then after the procedure is done when the patient is awake up use an interpreter have to explain that and the third test is X-ray. So the, normally the X-rays show the imagine of the structures of the body and the bones. Uh, and the bones, normally when they do X-ray on the stomach, uh, some people when they have uh, this obstructive or, or difficulty going to the restroom, the, sto the stools get accumulated in the large intestine and they don't move and these tools become really really thick so they create this very particular mass that sometimes is removed by a special procedure or a surgery okay guys so that was my video number three gastroenterology we talk here about diarrhea and constipation and how serious that could be and why it's so important to be precise when you interpret Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please like a comment and smile and stay positive and stay healthy. Thank you for being here and have a good day. Bye-bye.